Oh, okay. Do you want to have some? No. Okay. What about uh, the french fries? Where, where'd they go? There. Oh, there they are. Okay, cool. Where, Ella, where are the beans? The beans are there. Oh, beans are there. <laughs> okay. Daddy beans. Do you, do you want to have one of daddy's beans? Uh, and mommy beans. You want some of mommy's beans? No. just finished medic school and it was really hard for me like I launched my company in March or maybe it was February I don't know February or March of this year um, I started my my business so I got pregnant in March early March and I feel like I feel like as soon as I found out I was pregnant my symptoms started like it's like as soon as I had the stick that said <laughs> I was like I was definitely pregnant um, like I was just miserable immediately which is so different from my pregnancy with Ella because with Ella um, I I like didn't have any symptoms like I wasn't miserable at all um, and then this time like this pregnancy has been really really difficult on me so it was really hard for me to launch my company because I launched it and then like a couple weeks later I found out I was pregnant but it was just really really hard for me and um, I didn't like grow the way I didn't really grow the way I thought I was going to <sighs> he's not having gas freaking me out. I feel like we're not going to make it. It's only in a quarter of a mile. Okay. Um, I'm pulling into the gas station, you guys. Everything is good. <laughs> yeah. We made it. I am successfully in front of the working car. I'm late you know like I knew I was going to be late and um, not only am I late but my car decided to decline at the station or at the station at the pump which like it shouldn't have done that Head west. and so I don't really know why that happened. So I had to go inside and pay and then everything was fine. No, anyway, no. what were we saying before? I don't even remember. Um, 
back to my whole company launch. It was really hard for me to launch my company when I did. Um, I mean, it was hard and it was easy. It was it was easy because I went from working. Um, I went from working for someone else to staying at home with my baby, and that was really good. Um, and that made things a lot easier. But I had just found out I was pregnant. I was like miserable from like the get go. And it was like, I mean, I was so miserable that if I like sat up, I was sick. I feel like Ella and I spent probably all day, every day. Like I said, timing is everything. So Brandon finished his medic school. And I swear like since then my company, like it's just like blowing up. And I've been like super busy. I've also been busy because I have my hands on the wheels, guys. Um, I've also been busy because I obviously started YouTube and I put like a really like hard, like a strict goal on myself. So I'm trying to upload three times a week. If you don't know, my company, I didn't even really talk about this, is um, I do digital marketing for um, companies kind of like I mean, I've worked with them scattered out throughout the United States so far, but um, right now I'm just working with um, Florida. Well, I have Florida companies and one in Ohio. Um, I basically develop like a um, like a multimedia plan for them um, based on like how they're trying to grow their revenue and their sales or whatever their goals are. Um, come up with a plan that's catered to them and to their business and then um, we kind of go from from there it's a lot so I used to work for a like a national marketing company and when I took the job I feel like I was a little bit misled because the owner not the owner the the boss guy like if you will um he was talking about how like intrigued he was by my resume and like by like the skills that I had on there and like my past work experience um so in my mind I was thinking like because I knew a lot about social media and marketing and like advertising and stuff so I thought he was talking about that um so when, when he was like talking, like going on about like my background and stuff, I thought it was because he was like impressed by, or like because I was going to be using that stuff, you know? Um, and I feel like I was just like a little bit misled because even though like looking back, the actual, like the, the job description says, it literally says outside sales. So like. I mean, I guess I can't really say I was completely misled, but it did say outside sales. However, I went to a training like right out of the bat in Daytona Beach and it was just like, I, I thought I was going to be like implementing, um, I thought I was going to be implementing actual like marketing like, I thought I was gonna be actually advertising and like and like setting up campaigns and this and that and no like I was a sales guy like that's what it came down to like I was a sales guy I was working to make someone else you know rich line their pockets like um, obviously I'm not gonna say like the name of this company but I just feel like they just cared about making the sale they didn't care about the business owners they were just trying to get whatever money they could get from the business owners to make their bottom line and to sell. That's what I truly believe um, because they have a major customer retention like problem. They do. Like if I knew then what I know now about marketing and like about the implementation side of things, <laughs> they, like this company is like, they don't do anything for their for the business owners like they make it look they make it look like it is they are getting the world when they sign on one of those digital packages but like no I 
like what I've been able to do for my clients is it's insane what I've been able to do like I've been adding like thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars in sales and in leads and revenue to um, for like the the clients that I work with like I have one client where like I through like actually implementing things not just selling them something and then turning it over to the next guy like turning it over to like these the real implementation guys like no I've actually with like my own skills and knowledge I've actually been able to bring actual leads and sales and like it's awesome like it's awesome so leaving that company was the best thing I ever did that was the most corrupt workplace I mean I won't say I'm sure there are other workplaces that are corrupt but those people are literally <laughs> batshit crazy <laughs> they, the way they operate there is like not normal like you it is just not normal like you don't do and behave the way these adults <laughs> behaved like it was just like not a good work environment at all like, oh yeah leaving there the second I was free from that place and left um yeah my it felt like the world was like lifted off of my chest <laughs> like, I could finally breathe again so long story short working for myself has been a lot better and I make more now than I ever did working for them <laughs> like yeah yeah so
from my meeting and we are feeding Ella, getting Ella ready for. We're getting lunch for Ella. That's what I was trying to say. We're still doing the thing that I talked about in my last um, video where we're trying to get her to try new foods. Um, and it's kind of going terribly. It's not really working. You can dip it in the ketchup if you want. It's all gone, that one. <gasps> that one's all gone, yay! Can you make some of these other ones all gone? Can you do some Cheerios? Not too. Nope, this. That's okay, here, have some Cheerios. Gone? You literally ate Cheerios earlier today, so I don't know why you're not eating right now. meal time number well three but two that she's eating real food in the in her chair and this is how it's going so far no this isn't the Disney vlog honey can you have some bites no Ella where's the cheese no cheese which one's the cheese no you don't have to have it just point to it I do which one is the cheese I can't tell. I don't you don't know. have shoes on him. 
Where's wh which one's the broccoli or baby trees? No, corn. Want a corn? No. Corn. Do you, you want to have them. ice cream? No broccoli. You want to have ice cream? So you, and then you gotta eat this. When you walk out the car, I was like, "Oh, my baby trees." She says, "Damn, baby trees." Look, her she pointed to one of her. She's like, "Baby trees." I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> and then she didn't do anything about it. And then I think you came around back with the camera. No, 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 I can't. It's okay. Hello, hello. Where are uh, where are the baby trees? Baby trees. Where are they? One, two, three. One, <laughs> You're silly. One, three, two. Try your potato. Try no. your french fry. No, 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 no. Hmm. We more. Wait, Ella. Do you, do you see the grapes? Where are the grapes? Where are they? Oh, are both the grapes? Okay. Oh, okay. Hmm. Wait. Oh, where's the where's the pastas? The pastas. Where are they? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, I have some too. Do you want to have one of Daddy's? Daddy's and mommy. Mommy ate my pasta. Yeah. Wait. Where's the where's the cheese? Excuse me. Cheese. Where is it? Oh, mm. it's right there. Oh, okay. Do you want to have some? No. Okay. What about uh, the French fries? Where where'd they go? Oh, there they are. Okay, cool. Where, Anna, where are the beans? The beans are there. Oh, beans are there. Okay. Do, do you want to have one of Daddy's beans? And mommy beans. You want some of mommy's beans? No. <laughs> oh, where are the baby trees? Uh, mommy, me. Does, does Ella have baby trees? A daddy. I have baby trees. Do you want to have a bite? No. Want to have one of daddy's baby trees? Mommy, no. and baby trees? No. I ate all mine. No, 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 no. Mommy ate the baby trees because they are so yummy. So yummy. No trees and no trees. Right there. <laughs> there are trees right there? Wait. Oh, where's the grapes? Where are they? Grapes. Where are they? Grapes. I. Uh, what? Which one? Hey, a that. Which one's the grapes? This No, it's not Gitchow time. Uh, Wait. A that. Wait. It's cheese. Which one's the cheese? Oh, cheese. We are going to end the vlog here. Um, Ella just had a really rough night again. This is night number two. two. Three, of her. Right? Well, she had a good night the night before, but in the last mm -hmm. vlog, mm -hmm. she was, it was the first time we did this, and it was really bad. So she wasn't having it. She's freaking out. Went to bed hungry. So hopefully tomorrow goes smoother, but we will see. <laughs> if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button down below and introduce yourself in the comments. That would um, mean the world to us. And also hit subscribe so you don't miss a video. And we'll see you on our next vlog.